start streaming. Woo! Hello, everybody. Kate here today with another episode of the Atlas SMP. Oh, and I have to switch quick, switchly, quickly change the episode number. And that, yep, there we go. Okay, I, I forgot that needed to be done. Um, all right. Uh, and there we go. That's awesome. Getting good at this whole thing. Go. All right. Um. If you want to do it quick, um, maybe. Um, bit. All right. Uh, hello everyone. So, we are here, back on Atlas to do some stuff. Um, namely, where did I put it? Ah, here we go. Uh, today is probably going to be a good deal of like, hello. Uh, probably a good deal of what is it called? can't think brain not working uh city planning yes there we go which is why i have the wool with me and i have some shears in here which we'll probably need and actually i'll get the second shears because i'm probably gonna go over to my sheep farm i am doing okay <laughs> um my day is going all right um currently i actually i'm, I'm currently in my last week of school how did that sheep get out that's annoying I'm currently in my last week of school right now, so uh, I'm just finishing up the last few things, and then I will be done for the semester, which I am pretty excited about. Um, you know what I really should have done? I really should have just put like a carpet. Can I make a carpet just like, you know what? This is a far better idea than using gates. Except there's so many sheep now, I can't do it. There we go. All right, that solves my problem. There are a lot of sheep in here, but we need wool because wool is kind of how I like to mark out my builds. If you haven't seen my dino series, that is, you know, or I guess a build where I've done that for dinos. I guess I haven't, what, I've, I've really only shown that off in like the laboratory and the, uh, what is it called? The bug house, I guess. So I guess I haven't done it like a ton on camera. Anyway, uh, this is one of my methods for, uh, accumulating uh, markers. Uh, let's see. Can I play the Ice and Fire mod? It's dragons. Yes, uh, I've actually been looking into playing something with it. Um, currently don't know what series I do. Kinda, well, I don't know. I'd like to do it, I just don't know how I wanna make that series, I guess. It's because, I don't know, I'd like to do something neat with it and I don't really feel like I have a solid idea all right um well I mean I'd probably just bring back another very old series of mine like I've said before I think on this series Atlas is an SMP I've technically run multiple times <laughs> uh, but this is its most current iteration likewise uh, I used to have a, another series I used I, I ran a couple times here and there called Mythcraft which was basically a magic kind of pack I made, which was, it had a bunch of different mods. I mean, I think the last time I did it was like 1.7.10. So, I mean, lots of new stuff's been added since then, lots of great new mods. And if I ever revive that series to some degree or makes another sort of medieval magic theme pack, um, for sure I'll be adding in the Fire and Ice mod because I have been looking a lot more into it and it looks pretty darn amazing. You can make a castle. Um, on this world, I'm making a castle, uh, for sure. Um, and yeah, for if I did a series on the Fire and Ice mod, I'd probably make another castle as well. I need to, I need to quickly switch that to button five because my middle mouse button does not work, which is really, really annoying, believe it or not. Um, oh, also, as you can see here, um, I don't know how noticeable it is, but I have actually tried to remove a fair amount of the bamboo and just kind of clear it out. I need to get like a lava pit to chuck it all into in all honesty. Um, but we're gonna kind of start filling in this stuff. And just kind of finishing up with a bit of terraforming and then we're gonna move into the actual city planning phase of the episode. Make it a kingdom. Yep, uh, lots of great ideas for if I did a series on that mod. How big is this castle gonna be? Um, I don't know. I've never really built a Japanese style castle before. We'll see how big it gets. It's, uh, it's kind of the fun thing about this, uh, about Atlas right now is I'm building a lot of things on this world for the first time. Like I, I've never built a Japanese style build before. 
So I'm kind of learning the style still, and I definitely don't know how to build a Japanese castle, so I think the only one I've... Well, I'm not even sure that's a Japanese castle, is it? it uh, what's, what's it called? It's in Civilization. It's in the Civ games. Uh, Hijemi Castle, I think? Yeah, I think it's Hijemi Castle or something like that. So maybe that is Japanese or something. I don't know. But I think that's the only one I'm somewhat familiar with. That and the Forbidden Palace. But I think that's China, right? Because uh, I think that's uh, the Chinese, that where the old emperors used to live during, I think, the Qing Dynasty? I don't remember. Uh, da -da -da. I need a pickaxe. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to quickly kind of work on this. Oh, we also should start digging out the canal a bit. Oh my gosh, I'm making another river. I, I didn't even realize that was <laughs> a thing I was doing. Why? Maybe that's why I suddenly had the urge to make the river on uh, dinos, because I was like, I don't know, subconsciously reminded that I was doing that on this world. Also, once again, next building we're making. Storage building, because, oh my goodness gracious, I have stuff, and I do not have anywhere to keep it or organize it, and that's really annoying to me, because I am a person who likes to be able to organize all of their items together, because... Well, I'm not a person who likes organizing chests. I actually quite hate organizing chests, but I know I need to organize chests, or otherwise nothing happens, and I need to make a new pickaxe. I was hoping that one would have had more durability on it. Ah. All right. Um, ba -ba -dum -bum. Where oh, Should I just make a cobblestone one? Yeah, I'll just make a cobblestone one. We'll chuck all this in, because I shouldn't need any of that. Um, some more cobble, and then where's the sticks I had? Ah, oh, here they are. Oh boy. <laughs> Mythcraft server, yes, Josh. Definitely, definitely, that's gonna happen. No, I'm not, I don't think I, I, I only really want one multiplayer series currently. I mean, maybe. Well, I guess, you know what, Josh, if you wanted to fund that server, maybe I could do a multiplayer Mythcraft thing with you. There you go. Um, this is no mods. That is correct. There are no mods on Atlas. Atlas is 100% vanilla. OCD be like, I don't think I'm OCD. Maybe I am. Uh, hello, Styles. Uh, da 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 da. Oh, Styles, did I think I don't know if I saw it correctly because I, I I didn't check Mega Raptors Discord, but I, what was it you and uh, you and Uber Tsunami made your own server, right? I think so at least. So congrats on that. Um, but uh, let's see. I found that kind of funny because <laughs> well, I've been t I don't know. Never mind. Anyway, um. Let's see. I don't actually know how I want to do the top of this hill. What do I want to do? So we've kind of got it coming in. So it's like slowly sloping upwards like this. So I guess I kind of want to... Yeah, okay. So realistically, what I think we're going to do is leave this like it is. And then we're going to... Yeah, it kind of does seem pretty close to it. Oh, gosh. Not that it really matters. I mean, at the end of the day, it's an SMP, and I swear, like, everyone's doing one of these right now just because of the coronavirus. <laughs> you know, so we're all, like, we're all cooped up inside, so why not do an SMP? I mean, it's a great way to hang out with your friends. At least from my point of view, it is. <laughs> Unless your friends aren't into Minecraft, then it may not be a great way to hang out with them. I also regret covering that cave up with dirt because now I'm just having to dig it all back up. Um... But anyway, uh, make an AFK fish farm. That's a that's a really good idea. I oh, and I said I was going to do that last episode. Or well, last episode I said I should make an AFK fish farm, like I've mentioned in all of my last videos. End of the school year for me, so just busy getting homework finished. Um, and also just dinosaurs. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Diplodocus is not even one of like my top ten dinosaurs. I'd say. But for some reason, I am wanting to go. I'm just trying to go all out with its exhibit. I guess maybe it's partly because I don't want to re have to rebuild it. I want to make an exhibit I won't have to remake for a while, because what every other exhibit I have in my park is being rebuilt constantly. 
what am I doing? I am kind of finishing up the terrain of our base, at least this side of the base real quick. Uh, so that way we can take this wool out and start laying out the actual village we're building. What's my favorite dinosaur? I don't know, it changes every now and again. I don't know what my current favorite one is. Uh, let's just pick a random one. What's a good favorite dinosaur to pick? Uh, we'll go with, uh, I need to light this whole area up, I really do. Whoa, that's some lag. Um, what do I want to name my, as my, what do I want to say is my favorite dinosaur? I really don't know. I don't know. It's funny, like, I do Minecraft dinosaurs all the time, but I don't, I haven't actively been, I guess, learning about dinosaurs much recently. Probably actually for the past few years, because I kind of got sidetracked by history and stuff like that, uh, which is what I'm going to school for currently. Um, but, I don't know, let's go with Denonicus for right now. We'll say Denonicus is my favorite dinosaur. On my last episode of Minecraft, dinosaurs make every animal break out of their cage. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could. I mean, that kind of depends uh, if there's an official last episode, you know? Considering my current MO with the whole dinos thing is, I'm going to keep going till I no longer want to do it. So, I mean, that in all honesty could just be, you know, maybe it's like, at some point in my life, I just don't have time to do YouTube anymore, and then, you know, I just stop uploading pretty much, and then there's never really a final episode at that point, it's just kind of wherever I left off, I guess, which is, I feel, more likely how the series is going to end, just because, you know, knowing me, uh, and that's how I do things. <laughs> don't, don't you want the scenes to go on for, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm trying to just keep the scene. I, I mean, I'd love to say forever, but let's be honest here. Um, I think, in all honesty, I expect my current Dino series to maybe go on for four years, three, four years, something like that. And we're already in on year. Just the the server itself is like having an aneurysm. Being on that one world and building one thing. And, you know, at a certain point, you just want to call it quits. You're like, you know what? It's been a good long run. We've built something I'm very proud of, but it's time to retire the project and just be happy with where it is. Ideally, I would at least like to think I'm going to get all the animals into the park first. So like we get all the dinosaurs in and then that will happen. And then when it's like become a lot more monotonous and just, you know, it's either rebuilding old things or just adding in small decorations. And you know, we've lost a lot more of like the big attraction stuff at that point, then we'll just kind of all it quits on dinos. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how it ends. Imagine I made a roleplay Minecraft dinosaur series. I don't even know what that would look like. Um, what, a, a YouTuber I used to know, he hasn't, uh, he's, his channel's been dead for two years now, but uh, Major Minecraft HD, he, he wanted to do one, a roleplay dino series, and I actually was going to help him out with it, but uh, that fell through. Yeah, I don't own this server. Uh, it's owned by my friend Abe, and I'm assuming someone's exploring or something, which is probably causing the server to lag. Because uh, I was on earlier today, and it wasn't lagging too badly. Um, is the server? Oh gosh, server health is really bad. Woo! Man, what is with the internet right now? Did the? No, that's. Fine. Give me a second, guys. Let me see if I can boost this somewhat. Okay. There we go. It should be healthier now. All right. Hopefully that's a bit better, guys. Uh, I can't tell, but I closed down basically every program that wasn't uh, OBS or this. So hopefully that'll help. Oh, I do have some, uh, oh, yeah, that could work. Well, I guess, I don't know if that'll help, actually, because, uh, I'm not using the Wi-Fi for my computer. Uh, I have it plugged into the Ethernet, so if the Ethernet's having trouble, 
I don't know. Uh, maybe, I don't know what the problem is. Some things are the matter, probably, but yeah, I'll figure it out. Um, let me just really quickly check it again. All right, I might have to just start checking it every like 20 minutes or so, which is kind of annoying. But that reminds me, I did want to talk about something, guys. Um, oh, is it? Uh, what did I want to say? Oh, okay, that's what it is. Um, oh, wasn't there a thing on fossils in archaeology where if you killed a boss, you would get a crystal where dinosaurs would spawn naturally? Oh, um, you, you get like a time machine thing. The time machine isn't being implement, implemented for a long time, I believe. Uh, and when it is, it'll take you dimension, to a dimension where all the prehistoric creatures spawn in specific biomes. But they do spawn naturally and you don't have to hatch them. Uh, they were originally going to do it where it was biome-specific animals, but they decided against that because they were kind of like, you know, we don't want people just going to the dimension to collect the few animals that they can't get uh, from fossils. Yeah, that's the dinosaur's dimension. Um, Thing I was going to talk about. Thing I was going to talk about. Thing I was supposed to talk about. What was it? Uh, oh, oh, okay, okay. I think I remember what it is now. Um, we're just going to chuck a good deal of this into here because we don't really need it. Um, water time. Ah, that's good. Get better refreshments, you know, keep your voice going. Um, my voice is probably the most valuable thing about me. Joking. Somewhat, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what people would think is the most valuable thing I am. Uh, anyway, uh, so I am thinking about putting together a new like recording schedule type thing, which I'm sure to some people it's like, okay, whatever. Uh, but I'm thinking about changing something up, which is I might actually make Atlas a recorded series instead of a live stream series. That doesn't mean we won't live stream it anymore. I mean, I probably will still stream it. Uh, when I feel like streaming it. Uh, but with the internet being a bit iffy, I kind of feel like it might be a better idea to record instead of live stream for it. Plus, if I record it, that means... What was the point of recording? There was some big thing I had. Oh, more will get done, most likely, because I'd probably record it in the same way I'm recording dinos, which will be, you know, maybe like one or two videos a week, and it will just have whatever I've been working on on it. Will I ever start a Discord channel? Um, I might start one. Uh, I mean, the channel's pretty big. I guess I should start one soon, shouldn't I? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll work on that. Um, maybe that'll happen next week. We'll see. We'll see what happens. When will Quatlist be added? I have no idea. There's, there's no guarantee on when any animal is getting added or what's happening or anything like that. It's just... It happens when it happens, when they've decided it, it's time. Uh, but yeah, so um, I'm going to probably make, if I have time this Saturday, that'll probably be a video up on a possible recording schedule, more just to like, get your guys' opinions on it, uh, and the series that will possibly going, be going up. He would start a Discord, he said he doesn't like social interaction on one live stream, but then I told him. That's what admins are for. I mean, yeah, I I, I would def if I was running the the Discord channel though, I'd definitely try to interact with people a bunch. Granted, I mean, I guess I don't know. It's, I feel like Discords are often more for a place where the people who watch the videos talk than the people who make the videos. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, uh, I don't know. Why is Colt here? Why have you put a chest? Oh, no, 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 no. I am scared of this. I'm going to read this in the house. For an early access use of the Doom Room, it's my mob farm that is currently under construction. You will need a texture pack for the full experience. Hope to see if the trial runs. Oh. <laughs> okay, I thought that was going to be like him trying to murder me while I was reading, which is totally what I would do if I was like trying to assassinate some. Because 
one of the people on the server, uh, Delito, or Wi-Fi as I know him, uh, set up a assassination guild, like an assassin's guild. Uh, and assassinations have been happening, and I'm very much trying to avoid it since I'm the only one on the server right now with no deaths. Uh, but, but yeah, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, make, I'm starting to become quite paranoid about it, which I don't like. Uh, da -da -da. Oh gosh, well, Mega was pretty active on his Discord until he got busy with Uni. Yeah, I mean, same thing would happen with me most likely is once Uni starts back up in the fall for me. Uh, I would basically. I can't type. Um, yeah, I could get awesome fan art. Uh, I think it could to add fence blocks. Yeah, Discord. Um. Assassination Squad. Um, yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll I'll try and set I'll I'll see if I can set up a Discord channel for the server. Or a Discord server for the channel. That's what I meant to say. Um I don't know when I'll set it up. Uh maybe I'll I'll look into it this weekend. Uh, cause I'll probably want to pick admins and stuff first and get everything kind of set up, all the channels and things I'd want and set permissions properly. Uh but yeah, I mean after that I it could be interesting. We'll see. Uh, I mean, I guess the other thing is if I wanted to get uh, public interest and gauge public interest in something, that'd be a really easy way to ask you guys because I could just put polls in the uh, Discord chat and let you guys vote on them, which could be kind of cool. Uh, anyway, uh, we're getting to a good point, I think, where we could actually start the layout of this whole area now. Um, and do a bit less work on terraforming. Oh yes, I did see your suggestions on the last bid. Um, I'll think about it. I don't know. I'm not really. Uh, I'm not really thinking about T-Rex ideas right now, just because, to be honest, the Brachiosaurus exhibit is just like taking full precedence of my like uh, creative span right now. I guess. Uh, so I'm just kind of I'll think about other dinosaur exhibits because people have been suggesting tons of stuff for tons of animal exhibits uh, oh make like electric fences that'd be cool uh, but like I've been, I've been trying to make tons of exhibits or people have been su suggesting stuff for tons of different exhibits um, and I'm going to look more thoroughly through each of those suggestions I, I've been writing them down and leaving them on my uh, like a note document on my computer so when I get to making all that stuff, I'll go back through and read through all of them. But for right now, at least, um, I'm just kind of collecting the ideas, uh, but not really looking into them super duper deeply, because again, this Diplodocus exhibit, for some reason, is absorbing all of my creative, creative imagination. I got there in the end. Um, don't know why. It, I feel like I have more strokes speaking English than when I like record videos or do live streams. Well, actually I know why I'm ha having trouble speaking properly right now. That's because I'm building. So my brain is kind of focusing more on the blocks I'm placing than on what I'm saying necessarily. Are these, what are they called? Lily of the Valley? Yeah, I like these. I think they'll fit in well for our build. So I don't know how you get more of these. Do they just grow in certain forests or something? Can I bone meal for them? I hope I can. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, I know. I, oh, yeah. I need to go to a swamp to get more of the other. What are they? They're like blue lilies or something like that. I need to get more of those. Not because I think they fit with the build theme, more just they're my favorite flower in the game, so I'm going to get more of them as soon as I can. Um. Yeah. Okay. We've got a we got a pretty good range out here. Uh, you could put a food, Ford Explorer in the T-Rex is a bit, uh, maybe, we'll see. Uh, why do other people in your school, what do other people in your school think about you liking dinosaurs because people at my school don't like you for, or in your school don't like you for liking dinosaurs? Uh, I mean, well, I'm in, I'm in uni now, so. And to be honest, for me at least, uh, I mean, in high school, do people, I mean, 
I went to a super small high school, so like, I was kind of friends with all the guys in my class, except for like maybe two. Um, but like, for the most part, no one cared that I liked dinosaurs. Um, I mean, I also wasn't like constantly flaunting it, fla flaunting it in their faces. All, the most they knew about me liking dinosaurs was just that I drew them in classes when I got bored of listening, which happened very often because my my brain was not one to focus very often on uh, what was being taught. Uh, instead, I would doodle. Well, doodling, I guess, kind of helped me focus. It's always kind of helped me focus. Um, but anyway, no one really cared, and if they did bother me for it, I wouldn't have really noticed or cared because. I tend to not really care what people think of what I enjoy because I have the philosophy of, you know what, if I enjoy it, I'm going to do it because who cares what some haters are going to say, you know, if, if I'm getting a lot of fun out of my hobby, I'm going to keep that hobby. Uh, suck at survival, the best survival player in me. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, beyond your purest imagination, exactly. Oh. Um. I can see your text of the nightmares. Yes, I, I can. To do with the mods, let's just make a random pack with them both and some other promos. That's a great idea. Have I seen the Gorgon option? Yes, I'm actually gonna talk about, I was gonna talk about that in tomorrow's Dinos episode. Oh man, I love the Gorgon option. Oh, it looks so cool. I want it so badly. I'm really hoping it's in the next update because I, I, I need the Gorgon ops in, in my park as soon as humanly possible because it looks amazing. I want it so bad. Uh, well, finished the work early. I never finished any homework early. I still don't finish homework early. I usually finish right at the last second because I have the motivation of a blind snail and do not like doing homework. I hate homework so much, which is funny because I want to be a teacher at some point, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, no, I hate homework. It, it's honestly just, it murders my soul. Not gonna lie, I forgot if it's a Gorgonopsid. Uh, I think it's Gorgonopsid. Uh, it, yeah, it's an, it's a Gorgonopsid because. Oh, well, I remember it's the uh, it's the Gorgonopsid. I believe that was in like Primeval. It's like the same exact one. Not uh, it's obviously more realistic than the one in Primeval was, but yeah, I think it's the same species at least that the Gorgonops in uh, Primeval was. How many people here have seen Primeval? And I, when I say it, I mean like the original uh, British one, not the really bad Canadian one. Okay, we got a good amount of wool here, so I guess we should decide what each of these colors is going to be. Uh, nah, new episode. Um, da 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 da. Uh. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, sorry, I was reading chat and then I, since I have the memory of a goldfish, I completely forgot what I was supposed to be doing, which is uh, figuring out what color wool is gonna be. Since white's the most common wool we have, I guess that'll be pathways. Um, and then red can be houses, blue can be utility buildings. I think that'll work well. Speaking of which, those farms will need to go. Um, so let's see. Well, I know over here, right in this plateau type area, this is going to be our like sheep farm and stuff. Like this is going to be where our farm animals live. So we're going to need some sort of shepherd's house. Be sure to use it on the stream. Don't know if I will. Uh, have time today. Maybe Saturday. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, you saw the first episode of the Gorgon Ops in it, and that was it. I watched, I think, I think I watched most of the show. I, I quite enjoyed it. I, I quite liked it. Um, ah, uh, okay. Uh, for a base you could do, I mean, I don't know, pick a pick a style you don't usually go for. Make it interesting. Okay, so this is not going to be a utility building, this is just going to be a house. So I guess we'll kind of do like, let's do five 
and then we'll go out three, and then three, and then three, and then one, two, three, and that's five. Right? And then like this. I think that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I want to extend it by one, actually. Um, also, I don't ever build in diagonals when it comes to houses, but I'm starting to realize, I don't know, I think it'd be good to learn how to build diagonal buildings, so I'm going to try to with this world, or this server. I want, I want to get better at this whole building thing, and I completely messed up what I'm supposed to do here. That's a typical me. Um, okay, so that'll be our like uh, shepherd's house kind of thing. So we'll have him there, and then, let's see. Uh, build a blimp. I'll build a blimp soon. Oh, are you talking to Styles? You might have been talking to Styles. Um, man, I, I want to build a blimp on this world as well. I think, oh yeah, this Saturday. Um, well, I guess it depends if people are online. I might be trying to organize a group of people, and we might be trying to build spawn this Saturday. We're kind. It'll just kind of depend on what happens and what kind of time I have. Uh, we'll build like a... Oh, what's this? A seven, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we'll just kind of drag around, so like a regular box shape. And then we'll kind of come right here, and we're going to... Oh, we shouldn't make that. Ah, oh, well, actually, I, I think we should make that even. You know what? We will. So wait, does that mean this isn't even? Or this is even? Yes, this is even. Okay, we're going to run this back one extra step just so that way it's an odd. Okay. Oh, that's an Enderman. You know what? We're going to eat up first real quick, and then... Oh, there's the Enderman. Okay. I want to fight this guy if I can. Or wait, this Saturday might actually be the Ender Dragon fight. I don't know. There we go. Can they not hit you if they have a block? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, why does this chat like blimps so much? I don't know why you guys like, why the people here like blimps. I wanted that to be a bigger house and now I realize that's like my house size. That It's actually pretty small. Um, okay, and then, I am building these diagonal houses and I'm realizing now, like, I'm probably going to regret doing this because <laughs> I don't ever build on diagonals. Um. You know, we're going to put the storehouse up here. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, by, let's say, 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we're just going to drag this. So it's just going to be like a really kind of long building. And this will be the storeroom. And then, I don't know. Where could we put some other cool buildings? Uh, so we'll have the da da da. We could put like another important kind of building over here, I guess. Um, which could be like a smeltery, I guess. So that could be like, let's see. So that's eight. So nine, 10, 11, I think. Yeah, okay. Four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll kind of bring that in, and that'll be the house section. And then this area will kind of just, I'll just kind of place some blocks like that to signify that's going to be like the outside portion of this forge, I guess. Um, and then I guess since I don't really have a lot of wool left, I kind of want to just like kind of place some white wool down and we'll kind of bring it about from all the doorsteps to kind of 
kind of give us an idea of where things are going. Uh, you need to get better gear for the dragon fight. I don't think I do. Plus, everyone else on the server has like diamond enchanted stuff. So I don't really need necessarily to go and <laughs> get better gear because everyone else has the better gear so they can take the hits for me. And that's that's my game plan here. Uh, note for me. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. What am I doing? One of the streams should just be mining. Oh, oh, it will be. Well, that's what the past two have been. Just really me mining. If you opt into PvP, you can use the Doom Room whenever you want. Um, I'll think about it, dude. I'll think about it. Um, I mean, I have my own spawners, so. Bit of an odd question, but do you ever hear a noise that reminds you of another noise and suddenly your brain is filled with all kinds of sounds and music related to that noise? Not, oh, uh, yes, actually with certain noises. Um, however, it's not noises I should really have a connection to because I haven't real like i haven't experienced the noises in real life i've more just experienced them uh in games i guess but for some reason they've kind of translated to my head like i said i play a lot of world war ii games uh so for some reason the two noises that really get me are whistles at a certain pitch at a certain pitch uh this w a whistle will get me because it sounds like a like an artillery shell and I kid you not, I have had a near heart attack. Well, not an actual heart attack, you know what I mean. But like, I have been freaked a noise like a, like that sound, that like kind of high-pitched whine. And I kid you not, I was terrified. Because to me, it sounded like the, the shells in the game went like right before they hit the ground. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then the other one's the Stuka Siren. Again, I don't know why these sounds are terrifying to me, but they are. Um, yeah, Other, usually though for me it's smells, not sounds. Smells and then uh, pictures, usually of like landscapes, will bring me back to things that I've been. Yeah, it's interesting how our brains are wired, isn't it? To uh, like connect certain just random stimuli to each other. Epic wall placing montage. Uh, well, by cells. Um. Let's see. I'm just kind of loosely placing these white wool to kind of go to a specific area. Okay, and so the fact we're, we're kind of, excuse me, leading all the wool into one main area, to me, says that this is probably going to be where the center of the town is. So I'm just going to kind of mark this off with like the white wool, kind of giving us like this big center area here which will uh, probably be where we put some cool stuff. We'll see what happens with it. Um, I don't know. Like I've said, I, I don't really have like a bona fide idea of what's going on here. I have some loose concepts, but I think it's cool. I think it's cool. At least make a bow, I will. Uh, play JWE. I have JWE. I have not played it since the year it came out. Uh, since that summer, I've not played the game. Uh, and I think that's due to... I don't think I really found the game to be overly fun for me for some reason. I also haven't played Planet Zoo yet and I've owned that game since it came out and I still haven't gotten around to playing it. Um, speaking of which, well I'm gonna, I'll talk about that more I think when I get to uh, the video I'm gonna make on the new recording schedule that I'm thinking of implementing because that, that'll come make a bit more sense I guess what my some of my plans want to be. Um, anyway, uh, uh, da, 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 da. This is my example. My stomach rumbled a rumble that sounded vaguely like a walking with dinosaurs, metaverse, horus growling. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, no, I don't have it with normal things or even dinosaur related things. For me, it's just terrifying things. Okay, we're going to put another house here. Um, we'll just do this one like this, I guess. Ah, no, we should. Well, let's see. That's a square building. That's a square building. That's a square building. We can put a few more diagonals in. And I have white wool, so we'll just kind of finish it off like that. Okay. So, I don't know. I don't know if this whole like plan is kind of making any sense. So, we got a smeltery. We have a storage room. 
I will need an enchantment room for sure. And that's the path going off to the mines. Uh, I'm sure we could just stick an enchantment hut. Actually, oh, well, I wanted to do some sort of like struck big structure over here, like a mansion or something. But I have to do a lot of terraforming here to do them. Uh, you know what? I don't want to put anything over here yet because uh, I want to figure that out yet first. Uh, let's see, where would be a good place to stick an enchantment room? You know what? We'll stick one here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I guess. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're just going to kind of do this. I, I'm going to be interested to see how some of these buildings turn out. Like, they're going to, I'm definitely going to need to go onto my creative test world to kind of figure out the plan for this. But even with this, I'm, I'm fairly happy with how this is starting to shape up. I mean, obviously, I want to get a bit more wool so I can start making more houses and start filling in blocks of, like, where we're missing stuff. But also, I think this is by far the most productive um, Atlas episode I've ever had. I'm going to quickly check the time on this. Uh... <laughs> to be fair, it's not really very ridiculous to be freaked out by the sound of artillery th flying through the air. I know it's not ridiculous to be scared of that. It's just ridiculous to me that as a person, like, it's not like, you know, I've never been in the military or anything. I've never actually had to face real artillery. I've just played enough games <laughs> with really, really, really loud, terrifying artillery with visceral enough effects that I'm like, oh my gosh, whenever I hear it. Because it just like, you know, it, it triggers that like fight or flight response in my brain for some reason. Uh, wheat fields make great decorations around paths. Yes, they do, and I will definitely be making lots of fields. Uh, granted, for me, I kind of like to put in all the buildings I want to put in first, and then I'll go around and do fields, because I like to use fields as filler, not as planned things. Plus, I don't want to like feel like I need another building. But I like this, so what have we got? We've got, we've got the first house there, which is probably going to be somewhat of the style I replicate for the rest of these. Although I'm going to change the roofs up on a couple and we'll see what happens with it. Uh, but we've got the, the base template for the houses. Um, I might make this house actually over here a bit even larger. We'll see what happens with it. Um, we got a couple small houses just going dotted around here. Uh, our forge, our storage room, which I think I might even increase the size of. We'll see. Uh, but we've got like areas in here that I might fill with more houses. It kind of just depends. Also, I, I definitely don't think we're going to start working on any of this today just because it's a lot of work and I need to prototype more house styles. Uh, hey, dad boy. 2 p.m. where you are. Where is, what time is it? That's about 2 p.m. for me, I think. Yeah, it's 2.14 right now. I've got to... How did I mess up my phone like that? Okay. 5.13 in Georgia, 10 p.m. there. Ugh. It's two for me. All right, I like this. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for the paths, and part of me is thinking I may honestly just go from for ye olde, uh, what is it called? Or I guess for my old style of, ba -ba -ba -ba, probably a mixture of coarse dirt and uh, what is it called? Coarse dirt and coarse dirt and path blocks. That's what they're called. And just kind of mix that in and around. Maybe a bit of gravel too, and that'll be the kind of path we're gonna go for for here. I'm kind of glad I don't have to design like a dinosaur style path. Of course, I'm even considering. I know, believe it or not, guys, changing that path up again to go more with what I traditionally go with, which is a stone based path. Although I have to say, I have quite liked the feel of the, uh, what is it? The current path I have. Oh wow, it's 11, it's 11 p.m. in the Netherlands. Dang, that's, that's late. Yeah, I forgot my time isn't really, see for me, this is like the earliest I realistically can stream, but I keep forgetting like how late in Europe it is. <laughs> uh, so for European view viewers, I feel so bad for you guys. I, yeah. I wish I could stream earlier, but 
I think for me to stream at a reasonable time in Europe, I either need to stream at like five in the morning, which I know I can't do, or I need to stream at like 9 p.m. or something my time, which I also can't do for other reasons. So it's like, yeah, kind of problematic. We'll see. I mean, maybe when university starts up, I could stream earlier. We'll see what happens. I don't know. If a West Coaster will hinge so much on what part they live in. <laughs> I'm not West Coast, am I? No, I'm Southwest, yeah. Because, yeah, 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 Arizona doesn't have an ocean yet. I don't know, I might try and create the, the Great Cactus Republic Lake, which it would be... Oh, what was the plan for doing that? Oh, I had... <laughs> in one of my history classes in high school, we had like a government week where we just kind of like went through like our state government and how it works and then how the US government works. And I did something about, or I, I realized something about how using bylaws, I could essentially declare Arizona as an independent republic. Uh, and then I could bring other states into it and call it the Texas Republic, or not the Texas Republic, the Cactus Republic. The Texas Republic already exists, or Republic of Texas. Well, I say it exists. It doesn't really exist. It's, uh, it's a pipe dream the Texans have. Get away from me. Oh. <laughs> oh, screw off, zombie. Okay, where is he? All right, there we go. There we go, we should be able to sleep now. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. There we go. It's reasonable. Could I try and pronounce a Dutch sentence? Uh. Ich kann ein bisschen Deutsch sprechen, uh, which is, I can something speak German. Okay, let's see. Let me see. Okay, first time trying. Horten, Torten, Tenten, Tentuten, Telling. Ich kann auch. Yeah, I can as well. I, I know I know a bit of German. I was I was learning it uh, a few about up two months ago, but then I kind of just got behind on my stuff, and I haven't really restarted my program, so I need to get back on that. But I, I've I've been like trying to actually learn it. Il check check in man. There we go. That's basically English, you know. Can't type properly. Uh, da 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 da. Farming. What it's a good for? Food! Unless you're Russian, in which case, what is, what is farming? I do not understand. You see, in Soviet Russia, we don't have farming. We have, uh, you see, in Russia, you do not farm turnips. Turnips farm you. That's basically how it goes. Why has my chat turned into Dutch, Swedish, and German? <laughs> I don't know, it's just funny to me. Uh, anyway, let's see, let's just get all my farming done. I really shouldn't be replanting this, I've just realized, because I'm going to be getting rid of this soon. But, you know, oh no, why are you throwing crafting tables at me? I refuse to pick those up. I absolutely refuse to pick up the crafting tables. What's he doing? I don't know. Um, in in Soviet Russia, we do not have the farming. We have starving. You see, Comrade Stalin has told us we must not eat food in order to preserve great patriotic union. So on and so forth. Stop! <laughs> I'm literally farming around him.
I don't know what he's doing. He's probably just trying to get me to read his note. I shall read it after the stream. Um, and anyway. Is it true that American people mostly speak two or three languages? No, that is not true. <laughs> I really, or maybe it is in other parts of the US. Well, actually no, in Arizona, that's definitely true. I forgot, uh, cause I think like half of Arizona speaks Spanish and English because we're right on the border with Mexico. Uh, but what is it? Uh, lots of Americans speak Spanish, yeah. Um, that, that's our second language, I guess. Uh, of course, if you live up north near, like, uh, North Dakota, parts of Montana, and, like, and the, like, Great Lakes area, some people will learn French as a second language, because, well, French Canadians and stuff. Um, I guess maybe, I guess we do speak a lot of second languages. Hmm, I don't think of that, really. I don't know any, I don't, I don't speak a second language, just because, yeah. English speak English exactly. Uh, you're 14 and speak six languages. Holy crap, man! That's that's insane. Well, it's Europe. Uh, which makes more sense to me. You guys, you guys learn a lot more languages because you have a lot more nations around you than uh, than we do. <laughs> you speak American, English, and Australian. <laughs> That's, that's, I mean, to be fair, I feel like American English, British English, and Australian English are all completely different languages because we all have such different lingos and accents and stuff that you don't really, I swear you can talk to all three and neither one will know what the other's talking about. <laughs> yeah, 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 to be fair, I feel like I know I lost a sheep. To be fair, I feel like a lot of Americans, like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't feel like we have much motivation to for some reason. Well, probably because we, I don't know. I guess we're just kind of irritating people who are so self-focused on their own nation. We don't really think of the other nations around us and therefore don't care to learn their languages because typically they learn our language, I guess. Who knows? Dragonese. You can do a convincing Australian accent. I can do a bit of an. I think I can do a bit of an Australian accent. I'm not really sure how good it is. Uh, I mean, I think this is a bit more based off like what you'd hear on uh, cartoons and whatnot. Uh, granted, I don't really. I don't know. I mean, I know it's a lot less cartoony than it is in like. Uh, how what's it called? Uh, like how my friend, the people I know from Australia, I know how they sound. Uh, theirs is not as like. What is it? Pronounced and like exaggerated as it would be in like a movie or a cartoon or whatever. French invasion of 1066 be like <laughs> Dutch, Russian, German, English, Italian, Spanish, French. Well, that is very impressive, man. That is incredibly impressive. I would learn Spanish, but I'm half Portuguese. So that would be offensive. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Speak British chav and British posh. <laughs> uh, oh, bro, shop me some pie, please. Ah, uh, yeah, all sorts of that stuff. That's funny. All right. Um, I think that's all I've got for today. Yeah, I think that's about it. So I think we might just did, we might just did, we might just be ending this off here for now, I think. Uh, hopefully next episode will be on Saturday, and hopefully I will be able to... Well, what am I hoping to get done before then? Probably I'm gonna see if I can connect the river up and like create this island here, maybe work on terraforming it a tiny bit. Uh, and then probably see if I can get more wool and lay out a bit more of the terrain. Some kids ask their parents, why do we learn English and the English do not have to learn Dutch? Uh, because English, I don't know, because we're the super, Eng England was the superpower and then America became the superpower. We made everyone learn our language because it's the language of trade. I guess it's just because we're the, the super economy. Who knows? Um, but, uh, yeah, I think we're going to be ending today's episode off here. I will make the Discord. Sam is bang on. <laughs> uh, anyway. 
So, uh, well, yeah, Latin was the, well, Latin wasn't the trade language. Uh, it was Greek because Greek was the common language at the time. Uh, Latin was only spoken by nobles. But Greek at that point was incredibly prolific. Uh, if, if you were part of the Roman sphere of influence, you spoke Greek. And usually your native language was a secondary one. And uh, that's us combat logging. So thank you guys for uh, <laughs> watching. Hope you've all very much enjoyed. And uh, yeah, uh, hopefully we'll be back Saturday and finish a bit more of the thing. So until then, thank you for watching. Hope you've all enjoyed. And until next time, guys, see ya.